right, this particular router bit has a tongue and a groove component to it. So if you look right here, what you'll see is that little wheel. So that little wheel is what is going to be your tongue right here. So that's what's going to make your tongue with this spacing right here in between the cut, these two cutters. This is your chamfer, and this is the part that's like so hard to figure out is the, is the chamfer. Um, what we're going to do is now we're going to take this top blade off. We're going to replace the wheel with a, another blade that actually is going to cut to make the groove. So you don't want to change the height. All you want to do is change out this little wheel for this piece of this bit right here. Okay? It's going to be this way. So let's change out that bit and then uh, you can see what happens. So I've already loosened it a little bit. I'm going to take this off. This piece comes off and it gets replaced with this blade. Okay, this particular bit um, it has interchangeable blades. So you're going to do all your tongues first and then you're going to do your grooves. So what you can see is I got all the blades facing in the same direction. So all the cutters are going to go there. And after you, if you actually look at there, you can sort of see the profile of what it's going to do for that particular um, cut for the groove. So now we're going to put this little piece here, this wheel. I'm going to store that because we might need it later. I'm going to screw this back on. All right. So now there's no more wheel, so there's not going to be a tongue. So you can see I've, I made some little marks as well. So I put G for like the groove, and I did that on both sides of my fence. And then what I did is uh, once that was done and I pushed it through so that it didn't go any further than it was supposed to, and so you can see that cutting blade right in there. So that blade that's down on the bottom that's going to go right along the back end of that, it doesn't. you want to make sure that your fence is flush with that so that it doesn't go any deeper into the wood than you want it to. And I do these two passes, one for uh, take a little bit off, and then you do a second one to take a little more off because um, these bits are a little aggressive, so you don't necessarily want to take too much off at once. So we're gonna like just take a little less. The first pass, and we'll do we'll do a little ear protection. Normally we do the whole respirator. <laughs> tongue starting so now we're just going to complete it but we're not going to go any deeper than this otherwise we'll lo lose our full face so now we're going to do that second pass by lining it up with this adjust this back and go back to my little G mark here all right nice and tight keep our safety gear on <laughs> Gone. Let's see. There you go. There's our three inches right there. That's what we've been looking for. Plus the length of the tongue is what you started out with. But once you got the uh, the bits aligned so that you keep them flush with the right cutting edges or with the wheel, that's what your show is going to be. All right. There you go. Finally.